Welcome to the SeekNet Stories. Download the app to enjoy them all. Have you ever heard that God lives in cozy homes? For us, our homes are the same as the Guru's home, because in our homes we treat each other with respect. We're always friendly to everyone, and we feed anyone who comes, just like the Guru's langar. Langar is where we feed everyone, anytime, any day, day or night. Everyone is welcome to eat langar. They may be strangers, they may be smelly or pretty, they may be black or white, they may even be from Mars or Venus. It doesn't matter. Everyone is fed side by side. Can you imagine if your home was just like a langar hall? This is the story of how we learned that our homes are the Guru's home. Hundreds of years ago, the 10th Guru, Guru Gobind Rai, was our leader. He was young and strong. He often laughed out loud, and his love for God was deep and constant. Those who were near him experienced joy and bliss. It was a world filled with fun challenges and deep devotion. The six always wanted to know what kind of lesson would he teach next. Once he declared to his beloveds, Everyone must make longer in their own homes. O oh, Sikhs of mine, listen. Your house is a longer hall to feed all travelers and guests. Feed the needy. No one should ever leave your home without being served. Everyone listened to what he said, and the Sikhs became famous for serving and taking care of others. Still, Guruji wanted to test just how ready the Sikhs were. Were they only ready sometimes, or were they ready all the time? So one day, very early in the morning, something funny happened. It was the divine mischief of the Master, the complete man. Guru Gobind Rai himself put on a disguise. He dressed just like a common traveler. Now normally Guruji always wore clothes that were perfect and clean, without even a single wrinkle. But that morning, he put on dirty old clothes, so no one would recognize him. He went to the homes of his devotees, their longer halls. He came at the most inconvenient time. It was early in the morning, so the Sikhs were just waking up. They were getting ready for the day, washing up, starting their prayers. He would knock on the door and say, Uh, sorry to disturb you. I am just a humble traveler. Do you have any chapatis that I can eat? Um, uh, it's really early. You must be on an early schedule. Sorry, but we don't have anything ready for you right now. Food will be cooked later. Come by later and, and we can feed you then. The master was testing his beloveds. He wanted to show them a simple thing in an unforgettable way. He showed them that they were still a little bit selfish and not completely selfless. They still needed some time for themselves. They weren't there for others at every moment. And so the master went from door to door. Excuse me? Sorry to disturb you at this time. I'm a traveler. Do you have any doll that I can eat? Oh, it's so early. It's, it's not breakfast time yet. Besides, doll takes a long time to cook. Please, just come back later. As the master went from one house to another, he smiled and his eyes twinkled. Not one sick was ready to serve him yet. Finally, he came to the house of a man named 
ਨੰਦ ਲਾਲ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਵਾਹਿ ਨੰਦ ਲਾਲ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਵਾਈਸ ਪੋਇਟ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਲਵਡ ਦ ਟ੍ਰੂ ਗੁਰੂ ਈਵਨ ਥੋ ਹੀ ਵਾਸ 23 ਇਅਰਸ ਓਲਡਰ ਥੈਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਰਾਏ ਹੀ ਬੀਕੇਮ ਹਿਸ ਡਿਵੋਟੀ ਹਿਸ ਹਾਰਟ ਬਲਾਸਮਡ ਇਨ ਦ ਗੁਰੂਸ ਕੋਰਟ ਵਾਹਿ ਗੁਰੂ ਵਾਹਿ ਗੁਰੂ ਵਾਹਿ ਗੁਰੂ ਹੀ ਵਾਸ ਫੁੱਲ ਆਫ ਡਿਵੋਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਲਵ and he always prayed to be at the feet of the true guru the beloved nan lal hopped up to greet his guest welcome welcome friend excuse me sir come in come in please sit down relax i am just a humble traveler do you have any food sir you don't need to ask food is just now coming wahe guru He was so happy to get the chance to serve. He immediately brought whatever food he could. There was some raw dough, there was dal that was just half cooked, some raw vegetables and some butter. He placed the uncooked food in front of his guest with great grace and honor. Help yourself to everything here. Have as much as you want. However, if you will allow me to I will roll the dough and cook it to make warm chapatis. I will cook the dal until it is soft and I will cook the veggies until they are very yummy. It is my honor to serve you. In the name of my master, please relax and enjoy yourself. Thank you. Bainan Lal really loved to serve. Guruji was very happy. Guruji enjoyed the food and the food was full of loving energy. Bhai Nanlal ji truly took the guru's order to heart. No one should ever leave your home without being served. Whoever knocked on his door was sure to leave Nanlal's house completely satisfied. And in this cozy and loving way, God lived in the home of Bhai Nanla. The next morning, Guruji told everyone, In our city, there is only one temple of hospitality, only one real langar, and that is Bhai Nandala's home. Nandala speaks the language of love and devotion. Nandala blesses us all. His commitment is pleasing. It is this love that wins all hearts. Running such a langar, the Sikhs become truly rich, truly rich. In this way, Bhai Nandala's langar is most successful. The six smiled and realized that their beloved Guruji had tested them. Even though they were friendly, they still hadn't gone all the way. Bhai Nan Lal was tiar bar tiar, always ready. He was in a divine state. He happily provided langar to everyone without hesitation or excuses. When you become selfless, then you never have excuses and you are always happy by nanlal became the example of how all of us need to treat guests as six we never stop learning and improving ourselves he taught us that love has no limit and serving has no limit whoever comes to our home we give them the deepest respect we treat them as the great person they are we even treat them like a saint getting water for the saints is equal to being the greatest emperor of the world cooking food for them is more pleasant than all the paradises put together preparing the guru's langar is equal to all wealth riches and magical superpowers Holy people take care of the poor and one feels humble just being around them. The 
Guru's holy word is within all things everywhere. This was the mischief of Guru Gobind Rai. Yes, he had disguised himself and tricked his Sikhs, but that's how he taught them and all of us an unforgettable lesson. The lesson of how we all need to treat each other. The lesson in how to be a good host. The lesson in how to serve. And how God lives in cozy homes. That was an awesome story. For more, download the Seeknet Stories app.